Hi, Jeremy Cohen here. There are two things mainly that I uh, consider takeaways from having studied with Itzhak Perlman in 1977 to 1979 at Brooklyn College in New York. The first was I realized that Perlman had developed his concept of sound from playing in front of very large crowds of people all the time. He's always been a very popular violinist and consequently he's always playing in medium to large size halls and producing, you know, a, a huge amount of sound, very generous bow arm. And many of our lessons were spent with him talking about bow use and uh, increasing the amount of bow and also the, the, the uh, discussion of dynamics, loud and soft, both. But, you know, in particular, this very grand concept of performance with really tremendous amounts of bow, very generous and very smooth and uh, producing lots and lots of resonance from the violin because he was actively filling up these very big spaces with his violin. So he had a wonderful concept of sound production that I still carry in, in my own playing today. And I think the other thing, the other thing is, it's kind of funny, but really just mustering the nerve to go and play for him in a lesson was traumatic experience for a young 21 year old or 20 years old, however it was, was at the time. And just to gather myself, to pull myself together, to go into his uh, apartment and play for him, pretty much took all of the will and hours of preparation that I could muster. And so that's really served me well throughout my career because Primarily, there's no playing situation that's going to make me any more nervous than I was playing for Mr. Perlman in his own house. So I've had a good run. Uh, I continue to work with Quartet San Francisco, and I, and I bring with me uh, concepts of, of violin playing and performance that, that I learned in my studies with Itzhak Perlman. Thanks.